All right, y'all, back at you. This is another exciting day in the garden, right, guys? Yes. Yeah. Why? Passion fruit. Yeah. yeah. Purple passion a pur fruit. Purple passion fruit. So we went out of town for a couple days, and when we did, the remnants of that first name storm came through our area, and um, you know, kind of shook everything up. And so when we got back in town, we had a mess all in our yard, but we also had passion fruit everywhere. And this is how you can tell when they're ready, guys, is when they're they're purple and they're laying on the ground. You basically don't want to pick them off the vine. Um, There's some good ones. Hold on, right there. You can see, yeah. You can see we still have a ton on the vine. I mean, here's four right here. I'm actually shooting this with a different camera so I can zoom in. Here's more right here. Yeah, look at all of these. There's this one. Way. There's Teddy's got a whole bunch over here. Um... This vine's two and a half years, three years old. Yeah, the I vines, think. yeah, you can see the vine. Hold on, let me just show them some more of the fruit way up there. There's tons of fruit up there. So, yeah, the vine is, uh, yeah, probably almost three There's years a old. Bunch up there, too. Where? Right straight up above my oh, finger. Oh, yeah, yeah, way up in the tree. Right up there. So, like she said, the vine's almost three years old. We actually, um, we've shown this in some of our other garden videos. We planted it on this fence right here originally and it didn't really thrive. It almost died back completely. And then it jumped the fence and started growing up these cabbage palms here. And just, it just thrived. And this year we have a, like obviously a bumper crop of them. I mean, look down here on the ground guys, like over here, um, they're, they're just everywhere. And you can see some of them are starting to wrinkle a little bit, but that's okay. They'll still be good. Um, what you got? Oh, that one looks good. So, yeah, let's go ahead and harvest some of these. Teddy, grab all the ones you see over there. Um, we're lucky these can actually sit on the ground uh, for quite some time, and the critters don't get to them. And I'll show you guys one right here. Watch out, guys. Yeah, she picked that one up, babe. This one we missed, obviously, and it's uh, probably not good anymore, but um, you can see none of the critters around here got it. So we're pretty fortunate that, you know, these can we can let these fall, and uh, the rats and the bunnies and the possums and all the other stuff we have doesn't get to them but i mean we just have so many left here i mean there's just tons of them up there Let's see if i can, you can see right here guys there's a bunch up there i mean there's probably still a hundred on the vine right babe yeah there's a flower i just saw you saw a flower too oh yeah here's a flower right here and there yep so we're gonna get more there's one there so I would say, um, we're here in Central Florida, I would say these started, uh, they started putting off fruit uh, in the beginning of what, May? Mm -hmm. And we're now into June, early June, and we're obviously starting to get lots of nice ripe fruit. This is now, ripe fruit. now we're really getting it. Uh, we've only had two or three yeah. since now. Yeah, so you know, if you pick them off the vine, um, and they're old enough, they might ripen for you a little bit, but they're gonna be kind of sour mm -hmm. and they're not gonna be, you're not gonna get as much um, flesh. flesh in the middle of them. In fact, what we're gonna do, um, I'm the lucky one. I have the knife and the spoon in my pocket. So I'm the one that gets to taste them. Um, I'm gonna hand, yeah, Teddy's not too happy about that. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hand the camera over to Teddy. Here you go. And I'm gonna show everybody what it looks like. You guys have never had uh, passion fruit let's before. Get, let's get this beauty right here. Yeah, so if you guys um, have never had passion fruit before, it looks a little funny on the inside, but they're just so good. So, um, oh, and I only brought one spoon, too. Sorry, guys. It looks like we'll okay. be me eating this whole one. So we'll show everybody what it looks like, though. Here you go, Teddy. Can you zoom in on this? And you can see, guys. Oh, look at all that juice in there. It doesn't, if you're real picky, it looks like it might be gross, but I'm telling you, this is just like the, oh, it's just so good. Um, what you do is you just kind of scrape out this stuff. These are seeds, and you just eat the seeds. You eat it all like that. Um, you can just crunch the seeds. It's just so good. Crunching the seeds probably will give you more health benefits. You can just scrape it out like that. Oh, it's so good. Pass mm -mm 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 -mm. them? No. Sorry. I claim the other half. <laughs> Here you go. You can have the rest. Mm -mm -mm. These are so good. There's not even an ounce of bitterness uh -oh. or sourness. Uh oh, yeah. we got so many of them that they're um they're rolling it's away. Yeah, fine. so if you wait until they're ripe like this, they're not 
sour at all. They're just sweet and it's just so good. But you can see um, what it looks like up close there. The juice is so good. And if you add this flavor to like any pie or oh, cookie yeah. or cake or anything, I'm for sure. A je jelly? Could you imagine jelly? A jelly? Oh, yeah, it'd be so good. I imagine a key lime pie. Yeah, with passion this. fruit pie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, as you guys can see, we have so many of them up here. We might be making passion fruit pie. Because, I mean, we just have so many of them. Want some? And there's even still flowers. You can see, like, this one right there starting to turn purple and you could probably pick that one but it's really best to just let them fall to the ground like i said the critters in our area we have pretty standard uh garden critters and uh they don't eat these at all not yet <clears throat> yeah if they get a taste for them maybe but uh well uh -oh. it looks like it looks like it attached itself to my gate hook there at one point so anyways we're super stoked this is our bumper crop for the year um this and coconuts we're getting lots of coconuts this year so mm -hmm. pretty lucky about that because yeah. we love coconuts too so. yeah let's hope bananas are the next yeah, yeah. all right y'all well um i hope you enjoyed our little uh our little harvest here we're super stoked we're gonna go inside and eat more passion fruit yeah i claim this one which one? Oh, teddy's already picked out the one that he wants all right cool all right, well, if you have any questions or comments about our purple passion fruit, uh, maybe just post down below. If you enjoyed our video, maybe consider subscribing to our channel. And if they don't, what's going to happen, bud? You're going to fall off a skyscraper onto a giraffe. Oh, you're going to fall off a skyscraper onto a giraffe. I don't know. It might not be bad if, if he cushions your fall. And yeah, or the neck could be a slide. You don't hurt the giraffe and you don't get hurt. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's not even let's not even chance it. Just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, everybody out there. Take care. Bye.